Well, what's going on here? Bruce and Dick, aren't these the cutest puzzle balloons you've ever seen? Yes, they're very unusual. Some balloon factory was going out of business, and Alfred was able to get the exact ones I need for a party I'm giving for underprivileged children. My pleasure, madam. They really are quite a novelty, aren't they? Verily, Aunt Harriet, quite a novelty. Well, all's well that... That ends well, sir? Well. <laughs> seeing over 200,000 acts. Los Angeles. Dallas. Chicago. Atlanta. And New York. But for the first time, we'll be auditioning acts in theaters all across America, and they'll be performing to an audience of thousands. America's Got Talent will win the biggest prize in entertainment history. Not only do they pocket a cool $1 million, but this season they'll also be given something that will without a doubt change their life forever. It's played host to some of the biggest legends of our time. It's the entertainment capital of the world. It's Las Vegas. Now, the winner of America's Got Talent will win not only $1 million, they'll also get to perform on the Las Vegas Strip, joining the ranks of Elvis, Celine Dion, David Copperfield, the Blue Man Group, and Vegas's latest superstar that you, America, created. America has decided Terry Fader! Terry, good morning. Congratulations. Welcome the winner of America's Got Talent, Terry Fader. He's a household name across the country. He's having the time of my life. Thank you so much. He's just signed an incredible $100 million deal in Vegas, making him the most successful reality show winner ever. Who is next? Well, it all starts right here. Making it through this audition means a place in the next round, Vegas Week. There, each act will compete to take part in the live shows, and that's when you, America, start voting for your favorites. But first, they must impress three very important people. The America's Got Talent judges. First up, it's the winner of The Celebrity Apprentice and one of the most powerful men in British media, Piers Morgan. Working with Donald Trump told me that you don't get anywhere without passion, determination, and talent. I'm not here to be unpleasant, but nor am I here to waste my time. We're offering one act a winning ticket to the entertainment lottery of the world. That means we have to be honest, and sometimes the truth can be hard to hear. She's Rock's first lady and the force behind the Osborne brand, Sharon Osborne. Finding that one winner is like an emotional roller coaster for me. The opportunity we're giving is so big, you can't let your heart rule your head. If you have the ambition and the talent, we have the power to make your dreams a reality. Lastly, the legend that is David Hasselhoff. What I love about this show is that you get to see the real heart of America. And I think this year will make America proud again. 
I've been in this business a long time. I've had the highs, the lows, but the most important thing is, if you've got the talent, never, never give up. So it's welcome back to the judges, but of course it's also welcome back to their three dreaded buzzers. It's audition over. But it's not just the judges at the desk that the acts need to impress. The theater audience is the fourth judge, making this the toughest audition room in the world. So now all that's left to do is let's unleash the talent.